Great, three for lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm Ian. This is my son, Chris. Hello. And uh, about a year ago, we got one of these tiny food savers for Christmas, and it works really good on these uh, plastic zip-top bags that it comes with. And it's great for things like hard cheeses. You put it over there, and it sucks the air out of the bag. So it's really good for things that you take in and uh, put back in the fridge all the time. But you can see it's a little, it's a little slow. But other than that, it's really nice. It has a little recharger here. Uh, so we, this is really good for things like cheese, things that are hard, but vacuum sucking in a bag it, uh, wouldn't be great for cookies. I really like cookies. So uh, we started thinking about mason jars, and I, and I learned that uh, Food Saver makes a mason jar attachment. Uh, but I didn't think I could do it with this guy until I realized that you can take the bottom off and then the little nozzle, the same nozzle that's on the big food saver. And so you can suck the air out of a mason jar. But <clears throat> the problem with this is you don't know how much, how much of a vacuum we've actually made. So we usually just, you know, wait 30 seconds. And it does make a vacuum, but you, you never really know how much, how much you've put in there. And you have to go get this thing and you have to get this thing. And it's not always easy to take on and <laughs> wow, it the back and pull off even when there's a vacuum in there. Uh, so a few weeks ago, uh, Chris and I signed up for Mark Rober's uh, practical engineering course on monthly.com. And the first assignment was something mechanical that ha was in the category of food. And so during our brainstorming, we, we decided we were going to make a uh, machine that helps you vacuum seal in mason jars. So we came up with the Vacuumatic. So here is the Vacuumatic. Uh, it's basically a handle that, that lifts and lowers the attachment that goes onto the jar and then uh, and sucks the air out. So I'll do the classic uh, vacuum demonstration of marshmallows. And so you put the uh, lid on, you line it up, and then on goes the cap. And then there's a button in the handle that turns on the vacuum. And you can see we have a, a gauge. You can see the marshmallows are getting bigger. And that's about as far as it goes. Uh, but we've, just in testing, we've noticed that even 10 or 15 gets you a really tight vacuum. It's pretty hard to open the jar. So then I just release the jar, and now uh, watch, the, watch the marshmallows when they release and they'll get smaller. It's hard to open. There we go. So that's a pretty good vacuum. Uh, and so then we have a little, little storage area on the top for the, for the lids. So if you wanted to do cookies, which is what this is all about, then it's just very simple to line it up, push the button. And you're done. So uh, let's talk about what's on the inside of the box. All right, so you can see the side of our box. We have it left open so we can still see inside. Uh, we will put a, a side piece on this with a little slot for the handle, just so it looks a little nicer. But inside, uh, we've got everything that makes it all go. So the main part is this little vacuum pump here. It's just a simple little 12 volt pump and it's got an input and an output. Um, the vacuum side is hooked up into this T which goes one side to the um, gauge on the front and the other side to our attachment which does the actual vacuum in the jar. Um, the handle is connected to a simple pivot, just one little thing giving us a bit of a mechanical advantage so we can uh, easily take off the uh, attachment easier than by hand on the jar. Um, both the pump and the gauge are wired into a simple 12 volt adapter, just like you'd have for a, like a, a cell phone adapter or something, just a charger, uh, plugs right into the wall, gives us simple DC voltage. Um, and then those are all wired into this little push button. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty tiny up here on the handle. And just simply pushing that in turns on both the light on the gauge and the vacuum pump. So we have a little bit of foam in here just to keep the, the noise down. It, it um, helps the vibration of the vacuum pump. 
But other than that, it's, it's a pretty simple thing. So that's our project. That's the Vacuumatic Automatic uh, Saber Helper. And uh, we had a really lot of fun on this project. <laughs> and uh, we certainly learned a lot about the process. Uh, for example, doing the uh, prototyping stage showed us that uh, we originally had the handle in the front, but there was, we lost a lot of mechanical advantage by having the, that right angle turn. So uh, the prototype phase let us, let us move it over to the side. Uh, plus all the great comments we got from the other people that were <laughs> taking the class. You're just going to sit there and eat cookies. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks Monthly.com and Mark Rober, and uh, thanks Chris. And we, <laughs> and we had a great time, and it's, it's nice to be able to end up with something that's going to be useful in our house. So thanks for watching. I don't even know if I got it on. You didn't. No, I didn't. Darn it. <laughs>